I don't know. What do you think about Sacramento? Really, what do you think about Sabonis being your starting center? Like, is that something that can work? Because those questions came up last year. I thought it was a little bit hasty, but two seasons now, you know, what is the quote? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Like, mm -hmm. it's hard to fight against the sample size. So how how you feel about Sabonis' fit in Sacramento? I just think it's tough. I just think that his game limits you come playoff time. Like you said, not mm -hmm. being a rim protector, but also not spacing the floor. It's like it's so easy for teams to kind of game plan against you and, you know, use your weaknesses to their advantage. And I think come playoff time, you're 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 just you're not a full on liability, but like it's so easy for them to to scheme you out of the game, or at least like it, it, it's just tough. It's just tough. Like you've seen it with Golden State, um, with like was last year where it just seemed like bro, Sabonis is not helping anything on the court right now. Like they're just sagging off and they're letting you shoot, and you're you not shooting or you not being able to shoot is actively hurting this this team right now. And then on defense. You're not you're not giving me nothing. So it's it's tough um, because like I said to me it's it's really come playoff time, and honestly that's really what matters because you can have the best regular season in the world if come playoff time you're somewhat of a liability. Like none of that stuff matters in the regular season. Whether you and Fox get a, or play along well together in the regular season, if it can't work come playoff time, it just it, it's not you got to go. Honestly, you gotta go. I'm not saying you just at you just flat out trade them, but it's on the board. I'd say because obviously, if you're picking between the two, obviously you're definitely building around Fox. If you're picking between right. the two of them, for sure. Um, so uh, to me, it's definitely on the board because I granted the Kings have been an organization that's been bad for so long. Any little success to them is like okay, we're building something. It's good. Like it'd be hard to kind of veer away from that, even especially if it's a little bit risky. But if you really want to win, like, if you are just tired of this, like, okay, yeah, like, we don't suck anymore. Like, we made the playoffs. Okay, yeah, we don't suck anymore. Like, we're kind of relevant now. Like, if you really want to win, you might have to make that call. Yeah, and uh, it's tough because I, they, they, there's young pieces there to be excited about. Keon Ellis was phenomenal in their game against Golden State. Um, defensively, he is – and he's top tier. He's a guy that might genuinely make all defensive teams with the opportunity. And then his offense in that game was huge for them as well. He's he's on a super small contract for the next couple of years. Keegan Murray was huge in that game. He's been huge the last two seasons. His shot making continues to improve. Um, and then when he gets hot from the three point line, um, he can you know shoot it like up there with the best of them in the, the NBA. So there's there's pieces here. Mm -hmm. But like you said, they they're going to have to make a decision with Sabonis long-term because it does feel like they've kind of capped where they can, can really go as a team with this current construction. So it's going to be a very, very interesting off season for them. Mm -hmm.